up, y'all? Welcome back to another up, vlog. Um, this is Vlogmas Day 8. Yeah. I'm we have track. made it eight days. I lost track. I'm and welcome back to days. another Skeeters Pod. How y'all feeling You got to do the main intro for the pod. You want me to start now? Yeah. What up, though? Y'all know what time it is. This is another episode of the Skeeters Podcast. It is our Big Papa Ski and... Big Mama Neezy. How y'all feeling out there? What's up? What's up, y'all? We got to do the TV take and the, the audio take now. We big time out here. You feel me? Hey, hey. We are on multiple platforms, y'all. Multiple. We in this thing. With a hyphen? <laughs> I got you. Um, we on lots and lots. Well, no, because I, I want to say I'm very proud of you because I told you, like, as you go through Vlogmas, it's going to see, like, how serious you are about this. Yeah, it right? is. And it you, is. I'm watching you and, like, like just even the skills you picking up, I'm just like, yep, <laughs> she gets it. Because you know, I got to do this, mm -hmm. you know? I'm serious about it. That's, that's real. That's, that's the real. thing. I'm serious about it. I'm dedicated to it. And so I am pushing. I am pushing myself beyond my limits. That's how you grow though. That's how you outside of, outside of your comfort zone. That's how you exactly. gotta grow. Exactly. That's that's exactly what I'm doing outside of my comfort zone. Yeah, and then how's the fitness journey going? Cause I know like like I was making fun of you a little earlier. I don't know if you want me to tell that joke here on the show. But you can tell the joke, go ahead. Nah, I just I just noticed that like you know say your clothes starting to fall off you. And I don't know if you try to be sexy or, or or like you just getting skinny or both. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Uh, it's a little bit of both, a little bit of both, you know. Um, so uh, it's time for a wardrobe change. So you got to give me that card. I know that's what that's that's, <laughs> that's the real. That's mainly what it is. I'm letting you see, like, look, babe, my shirt's too big. I need to go get some more clothes. Got to give me that card. I'm running a bag up on me, man. It's all good. It's all good. That's why I love you, though. That's why I, I love you. Love you too. Um, so what do we have for our? I know we we, get, we trying to go in like different little pockets and stuff, but what do we have for kind of like the like next on Vlogmas? Like, are, are there like is it gonna take a turn? Like, does it get more holiday focused as it gets further into the? As um... we get closer to Christmas, yes. Okay. As we get closer to Christmas, there will be Dang. more. Um, so more Christmas silly costumes. Oh. Yes. Yes. And you know, I was thinking about because down, downtown here, they have like where you can go through this strip and they have the ring of lights and everything. Mm -hmm. and Which they is kinda, basically like the light part just on foot. But they have vamped up downtown for Christmas. It's a little bit more. And then there's like um, Christmas festivities. So I was kind of thinking about doing that, but- Festivities. Well, I don't know. We got to see how the weather's going because now it's back up to mm -hmm. 80 degrees you and know. it was just 40 the other week. So we got to see how that it's, goes. It's that sick weather. Um, but. Also, we got to see if London is even up to it because a lot of it is walking around, a lot of walking around down there. Sometimes she'd be cool for like a good 30, 40 minutes and she'd be like, all right, I'm done. I don't want to keep doing all this walking around. Yeah. And even though she gets in the stroller, she'd be like, I don't want to keep going. Um, so we'll see about that. But we got more. I got to eventually take my hair down. So we got content that's coming that way. Okay. More with the Skeeters. I was about to say, because we, we, we want to see more like, you know, the, and the, then the my natural sisters. Stuff. My sisters are gonna make an appearance. Your expertise. You know? <laughs> my sisters, my mom, my parents. So. My man, my dad, my dad. And <laughs> so that's how it's gonna be. And you know, of course, Hennessy is in all of them. And dog. Right. So y'all make sure y'all send all y'all pet treats and all that. You know what I'm saying? Just drop, we'll drop the link for that. And y'all can send questions too. Y'all can send requests too for um, if you have certain kind of content you wanna see. Because we got until the 25th. No, and don't come so, with none of that weird stuff. Yeah, don't either. come with the weird ones. Like somebody asked about a shower routine. No, y'all ain't finna see nobody in no shower, don't you? are not getting your socks off over here. <laughs> your socks? <laughs> I could take my old socks off. You're not you getting your about? socks rocked <laughs> over here. No. Rock. No, no, no. Rock your socks. So, um, yeah, nah. Not this way, bro. What? <laughs> what? No, okay. So you talk about that like, like. It was in the marriage chat where it was talking about like what the, uh, having sex in public places, or they was asking like what's the freakiest place you've done it, or like what was the combo no, there. So in the marriage group, you know, they talk about spontaneous things between uh, your relationship, right? Making it spontaneous to and keep that spark going, keep the spark going, and then people are doing stuff off of their bucket list. So a couple people in the, the, <laughs> the group people, chat, man. they were like they want to do it, and somebody said like an alleyway. Like in the middle of downtown, but in the alley. They must be from the east side. 
Then a couple people was like, they want to park their car and do it in the grocery store parking lot. Weird, mm -hmm. right? They be watching too many movies. They do, and then somebody said, well, if y'all want to do it in the car, they was like, just park your car in your driveway and pull all the way up. When your kids go to sleep, then get in your own car and just do it that way. So that way you can still have that experience that you're in the car. Or well, you can just get in your bed that you spent all that hard earned money for. Yeah, it's like, cause my thing is you can't wait till you get home. You know, cause like they had somebody, um, I guess they seen this off of a movie too. I was like, oh, me and my husband, we did Watch it in the library. Movies. And I was like, in the library, I was like, yeah, you have to go to the book, the book section where nobody goes to. And she was like, we got it on. I was like, uh. Um, Nerds. No, because if you get caught doing these things in public places, don't you get an indecent exposure? You get yes, um, sex you get offender. charged you as get a sex if, offender. If they catch you so, with your, if you go be like, hey man, I'm about to go pee like real quick. I'm about to go around the corner, and, and if they catch you with your wang out, sex offender. You know? See, that's my thing. So that's why you can't do Police this kind pull of up. What stuff you doing in around public here, boy? places <laughs> because you will be deemed as a sex offender. You be uh, like, it was some movie. Oh, yeah, me and my husband, we're just trying to get it on. We're just trying to be spontaneous. Sex offender. Yeah. Look, you can't go within this many feet of a school, a mall. Can't go to no you can't travel on a plane. And you'd be like, we were just trying to be spontaneous. Yeah, but now you're spontaneous a sex offender. Damn! Damn! So coming yeah. in hot and easy, you okay? <laughs> You can't, like, I mean, nah, I feel figure it out in your home. Like, spice it up that way. If you got a basement, go do it in the basement. You want to hang her on the ceiling, hang her on the ceiling in the basement. But see, here's like the, the man said, put your car in the garage in your driveway. At night, do it in your own driveway in your car if you want to do it that way. Here's the thing about marriage, though, man. It's so, like, we, a lot of that is true. Yes, you could do that. And I recommend all of that. But a lot of it is romanticized, man. Like, the, the, the sex and the passion is only, like, a fraction of, like, everything else that goes into marriage, for real. Exactly. You feel me? So, like, people want to get swept away off that. But when that stuff is fleeting, you don't have no real, like, substance left. You know what I'm saying? For real. Right. So, I wanted to ask you this. Because some people were saying, like, to focus on substance. You know how we talk about, like, weddings and, and people spending more money on weddings yes. and, and being in debt from those. But what about uh, people were saying instead of buying the fancy ring the first time, you just buy something and keep leveling up as y'all go through the milestones. It depends on your like five years, buy, like upgrade the ring, ten years, like buy honestly, ring. that depends on your relationship and the <laughs> kind of spouse that you have. Because y'all want the big ring off top. For me, honestly, once I get my ring and like it's my ring, I love it. My ring is custom made and like my band is even custom made too so it was he talked to our jeweler because we have a jeweler he talked to her and don't tell nobody he, else here <laughs> he customized it with her and was like this is the kind of design that i'm looking for because like you, now you gotta flash ring, it in the, you gotta flash it in the camera now so Ooh, this, is nice. this is my ring ah, i can't and see ah. my oh. ring sits inside of my band so i have two rings and it locks in place like i have a lock at the bottom it clips in but he went to our jeweler and was like okay so we have to get this custom made this is what i'm looking for right mm -hmm. for me i'm good with my ring like this i don't need to upgrade i don't need him to go out here and be like, okay let me go and spend some more money on another ring no you can go buy me a watch you can buy me some a diamond necklace a diamond bracelet we can do that stuff I, my wedding ring because one this is memories from our wedding day yeah. and i love it the way that it is the so that's why i said is. it depends on who your spouse is because if you get your your band your wedding ring and you're not happy with it you know it means well but the size is like okay 10 years down the line was the thought really a placed five in? care five carat diamond that's y'all by all means i'm cool with what i got yeah so that's why i said it, it depends on your spouse i feel that you want to upgrade later nah remember they were trying to upsell me on the y'all wanted me to buy the super platinum i was like let me get this one and they was like but nah this the no, other you, one is way nicer no you didn't see your wedding ring you're talking about your pinky ring I'm uh, talking about your wedding ring. Yeah, well, no, I, <laughs> no, I, no, I, I was talking about. That. I'm saying you that didn't get to pick your wedding ring though. I thought I did. I told you no. what style I wanted. I, I pointed out a couple of times what style you just, I wanted. You pointed the style and just said that you wanted yours black, but you didn't pick your ring. Gotcha. Because you have the ring that 
um, it's heavy duty and if it was supposed to, like what did she say it would shatter if it hit something the tungsten yeah the tungsten junk. with diamonds in it. with the black diamonds black diamonds black <laughs> <So>. <laughs> London wants to be in the combo now. Blick and Diamonds. She got her sticker. She's on the sticker kick, y'all. She's calm over there with her stickers. Oh, um, okay. So we agree then, like, it just depends on the spouse. It depends. Uh, I want to change gears a little bit because there was a video. We posted it on the Inaudible Ruckus Instagram page. And then, like, I did further, kind of, like, I saw the part two of it. So a girl took her phone to the screen repair place tried to run out, got locked in there, then the mom came in and like they was just going back and forth. Now the mom, it ended up being kind of resolved peacefully, if you will, like mm -hmm. when they walked out. But it just posed the question like, do you remember back in the day getting caught for something and your mom had to come get you out of it? <laughs> I was not a bad kid. That was not the question, man. no. I was not a bad kid. <laughs> now, I can tell you one thing that happened, and actually, my mom was already there, so, me, my mom, and we actually took a friend with me. She let one of my friends come. We all went shopping. We went to the mall. We went Easter shopping. And okay. my mom was like, okay, let's try on. Like She gave me a bunch of clothes to try on, right? So my friend that came with us, she was like, oh, I want to try on some clothes too. My mom was like, okay, go ahead, try on some clothes. So this girl was over here trying on clothes, but she also stole something too. So what? as we when we were getting ready to leave, then here comes security chasing us down. And you know my mom. My mom's finna hoop and holler like the F. What you mean? I got money. Don't you see all these bags yeah. that I just bought? Black we diamonds. Out with, with bags of clothes. She's like, don't you see all this that I just bought? And she was like, my daughter ain't got to sell and steal nothing. We just paid cash for all this stuff. And the man goes, ma'am, I'm not talking about your daughter. She didn't steal anything, but she stole. He was like, and then she was like, well, she's with us. That's not my daughter, but. Right, she's kind of like my daughter, but not for real. For <laughs> and then real. she was like, like well. A play daughter. And then they was like, well, she needs to open her bag because she has all this stuff. And then, you know, that happened. So we stayed did there. Oh, okay. We I was going to say, did y'all leave her? <laughs> no, 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 no. We ain't going to leave nobody. We ain't those kind of people. Right. We called her mom. We stayed there till her mom got there and then explained everything to her mom. And like, you know, her mom was embarrassed and upset about it. But things happen. You're teenagers. Stuff like that happens. Um... I was just, if you if you want to say, I was just always that scary teen. I was like, I ain't doing that. I just never. I knew my parents, and I knew the kind of trouble I would be in. Yeah, I just knew the type of parents I had, so I wasn't playing them games. Nah, know? I feel that. Just wondering. Um, but that was tripped out. I did see the video. The girl come. The he the man took her car. Then she went trying to run, and he was like, it's locked. Yeah. <laughs> the way that he said it though, he was like, it's locked. Well, no, it happens to him all the time. And that's why he said, like, I know what you're trying to do. And then I think later on, the girl even kind of mentioned that she came up there because somebody else. He's like, yeah, I know she ran too. She's all on my TikTok. He has a TikTok. You on TikTok, go to Cell Doctor. Cell DR. Like, like he, that he's supposed to got videos of people trying to run out of there all the time and everything. They're like, it, it's a thing. He catches people stealing from his store. That's hilarious. That is Okay, but we, we want to be able to afford our lifestyle and stuff, right? So Yeah, so we ain't got to steal it. Yeah, but but here's the thing. There's a lot of pressure to make money because you want you want to be able to keep that up. Yes, yeah, so that's so why even if you work hard, like you're going to be like But you have to do like what they say have multiple streams of income. So, like we said, and trust me, I know it is tiresome. It is hard because if you're working a full-time job, you're a parent also, but you're still not making enough. You gotta come up with side hustles. And I've met several people that has many, many side hustles. Like some people, they have their full-time job. They have their business on the side of what they're doing, but then they're also door dashing, they're Instacarting. You know, they're doing these things on the side as well. They're doing favors. Hustling. So you, you, if you are wanting to withhold a certain lifestyle, you gotta do what you gotta do to afford it. Not stealing though. Making make it the right way. Right. Ducky can I Oh wait, that's not supposed to be that one. Alright, sorry y'all. Look, right. producer London has stepped onto the boards. L London. L L L London. Um, Yellow? 
I was getting at it because, like, you know, I, I suffer from, like, the hustle hard mentality, right? Yeah. And then I, we've even talked about it with us where, like, I feel like I have to do a better job of separating, like, the business from, like, the marriage. Oh, yeah. You definitely. You know, because you get caught. It's, it's, it's hard to turn it off. But then, like you said, like, you're going to run my card up. You said it at the top <laughs> of the show. Like, so don't say, oh, yeah, I totally feel you. <laughs> what am I supposed to do, man? I gotta go get the money. I did say that I'm gonna ruin your heart. <laughs> so what? No, I gotta go get some new clothes, right. some new wardrobe there. But no, like um, this is something also that was in the marriage group separating business from marriage. Like although you and your partner, your spouse, you are partners also, but you're married first. Your spouse is first. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's where that that togetherness comes in and then you can go with the business part even stronger gotcha. but when you had to put the marriage first put each other first put your relationship your feelings and your communication first then when it comes to your business part your business will run even successfully that husband and wife business yeah. or that that marriage that's marriage business let's say that yeah no i agree you and your spouse I agree. And that's my goal. That is my goal, ladies and gentlemen, for 2023. <laughs> goal. That's my goal. Curls. Uh, uh, you ready for questions? So we, we got get out questions here? this week? Yes. Yeah, here. Hold, duck, hold Ducky while I get to the questions. Hold on. I got to find a drop. Let's see. Linda, push this one. Push this. There you go. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> this is loud. All right. Now here, look. Push any button. Push any color or button you want. Go ahead. Get down, girl. I'm gonna get through these Yay. questions with her doing this. Are right, you ready? <laughs> hey, this, you gotta teach them. I can't hear you, it. You so, teach oh, them. But I'm quite sure this is gonna yes. be hilarious. Can you hear through my headphones? As loud as I can go. She pushing every button possible, y'all. I'm just gonna turn that down so I'm gonna keep pushing. All right, so should there be a limit on how many presents you buy for the holiday? No. Okay, should there be a price limit on the amount of gifts? Depends. Like, are we doing like hypothetically speaking that we have a, a unlimited budget or we being realistic here? For the sake of the pot, let's be, uh, Let's uh, dream of like bigger dollars. Okay, bigger dollars? No. <laughs> Bruh, got that black card. That <laughs> Here black you card. go again. Ain't, Here you ain't go. No, no price limits. What you talking about? Ain't no, no price, price limits. Got the gold toilets? <laughs> the champagne it, in the morning and the breakfast? <laughs> we being realistic. Um, yes, I would say like when it comes to, if especially if we just have one kid now, I would say with her being one, no more than like $300. Hey. But then when it comes to husband and wife, I would say at least like three, four piece for us. Yeah. You in charge of that, so I don't, I don't even have a, <laughs> I have no clue. Just swiping away. Just tell, tell me when to swipe. and ordering. All right. What form of discipline would you choose? Time out or a good old fashioned ass whooping? Depends on the infraction. The, yep. Um, <laughs> Do you want to tell the story for the other day? Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. Yes. The other day, London continued to, she was on the couch, but she kept standing on the couch and jumping down. And I did not want her to fall off of the couch and fall and hit her head on the floor. And so I told her, I said, okay, if you don't stop, I'm going to pop you. And she stood up and she did it again. And she said, okay. she gave me this look. Okay. And y'all on YouTube, you can okay. see she said, <laughs> so she did it again and I popped her on her thigh and she said, oh, okay. Yeah. And it was so funny. It caught, me, it caught me off guard. She did say it very sarcastically. And I looked at her and I had to turn away really quick and I bust out laughing to myself. Then I was like, sit down, girl. But she literally jumped up and said, oh, okay. <laughs> she got her. Hilarious. So she's a funny baby. She's fun. But it really depends on like, what it is because if she's a creative child the time out ain't gonna do nothing but give her more room and opportunity exactly <laughs> this is funny you go you gotta listen to this week episode it's gonna be funny as hell. i believe it all this this all gonna stay y'all uh, gotta stick around to the end too y'all listeners oh uh, okay 
<laughs> what are uh, are you setting goals or resolutions for 2023, and can you share one? I'm doing resolutions um, and goals. Actually, we're gonna, we're doing both. We're doing both, and my goal is to, to I'm gonna share one of them. It's for naturally nay to by June. I would say by June of next year, we have an edge control that's out and at least the shampoo and conditioner be in the works. Okay. Like, honestly, because I am really, my goal is to really expand this brand. Like, really, I've been doing all my research and we made a couple samples of edge controls, but it just wasn't what I wanted. Yeah. So that's yeah. why- Been in the lab. Yeah, that's why it, it has not dropped yet. It, it hasn't given me the hold that I want, but by June, hopefully before then, I plan on that edge control being out red. Yes, that's correct, red. Mm -hmm. But no, I, so for me, and you know I got your back with that, like 100%. Oh yeah, definitely. But for me, I would say um, it's like continuing to grow, like the platform yeah. one for Inaudible Ruckus and like IR Presents, all the shows. Oh yeah, of but then grow Yeah, well, getting yeah. out of it for sure. But then also growing more so like with the agency side of things. Like I want to be able to have like at least five clients on retainer, right? And then just kind of like working them. Like heavy, you know what I'm saying? Like constant, yeah. like just working yep. for them on a monthly basis, so. I'm hoping that we got like two or three now, but I'm talking about like a solid, just like five in a rotation per month. I'm with it. I'm with it. I know you'll be helping me because yeah, I'm back. Can you make this phone call? Back, back. Can you call? I'm on the phone with so and so. Can you call the other person? Uh, next question Who has the biggest heart, like as far as humanitarian wise? Me. Me. I'm a big softie. I, I honestly would say me. I was gonna say me. No. <laughs> I, was gonna, I guess we can go with that. I wouldn't call you a big softy, but all right. I am a softy. Nah. I'm hard on the outside. I'm soft on soft the inside. Soft in the middle. <laughs> like candy. No. <laughs> Uh, yes, I will go with you. Uh, I feel like we, we, we look out for a lot, though. I will say that. Yeah. We both, like, as far as when it, when it comes to our family and everything, oh, and, yeah. and even the family we've started, but, like, the family that, that, that we come from, like, we always, like, are real adamant on family time out. and stuff. We so. really are. I get that. And then, um, uh, last question. What is your favorite invention, like, like gadget, and then, like, would you yes. recommend it? Yes. I was going to say one that I made, yes. like, a gadget. No. Nah. <laughs> Um, you didn't make an NFT? <laughs> yeah, no. Um, honestly, I would say my favorite one is my computer. Okay. Because <laughs> you get so much done on exactly. it. Exactly. Business when we heard of business elevated a whole nother level once you get the right equipment. You do. You get that laptop, you got that phone, you know? Yeah. And then you can always hop over, click one of them screens, and you can play the Sims. <laughs> See? See? She gets it. She gets it. Like or Madden or Call of Duty or whatever you got, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Any of those things, any of those things. I'm gonna say for me, uh, definitely this this podcast mixer board. And I know everybody like who's doing a podcast, y'all so lucky, man, that y'all get to just jump out the gate with this because like yeah, this new mixer is dope. And I'm even one to talk because even the old head like radio dudes like tell me I I have no right to talk because they was back when they had to like splice uh splice like real to reels. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? With grease pencils and, and, and yeah. razor blades and yeah. stuff as they tell it. Yeah. Now, in the editing room, like, cause you have to really like cut yeah. film and like cut yeah. clips and stuff. Yeah. So then we was able to get like the digital stuff, man, and, and all these interfaces. And then now with the podcast, it puts everything in and it simplifies it for you, man. So I'll go with the Rode Podcaster. Definitely think y'all should check it out. Uh, definitely anybody who's like trying to jump off into the space, this is the most simplest version of equipment I can tell you to get. And then like make sure like your microphones. That's a whole nother thing for a whole nother pot. But I'll say the, the Rode Mixer for sure. And that's coming from like an industry professional like opinion. Like, yeah. That's all I got. One more question, and this this question is for you. Okay. Okay. What would you like to see from Naturally Nay for Vlogs? Nay. 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 Sorry, I had to take a water break. 
I would say you mentioned it, but like you and your sisters in your natural interaction. You know what I'm saying? A like Disney just, episode just, that we do. Not even that. Just because y'all, y'all do a lot. Okay, but y'all mm-hmm. y'all have fun together. So I would like to to see y'all do more of that. Um, y'all hear that? Slave Ray's back to Queen. My Nia today. I would also like to see uh, a quote unquote hijacked episode where like they tune in for Vlogmas and it's like you not hosting it. <laughs> and they take over? No, no, like I take over. Okay. Like it's like it's like a low it's a low vlog vlogmas with low. Okay, okay. We'll talk, we'll talk. I can't give, be giving out all the ideas on here. Exactly. But well, we'll see. We what that means we got more to come, y'all. Y'all seen it first. Yeah. And pod, y'all heard it first. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> you, you oh, gotta make but the look, this is this is it's vlogmas. So, Pod, y'all are actually gonna get the content from us tonight, the same day that the episode drops. So, y'all See? can watch the vlog and listen to the what vlog. for the price of how much? <laughs> the low, low price of free ninety nine. My brother. Nana, nana. Are you ready to get up out of here? Yeah, we are ready. So make sure y'all follow us on Instagram and actually underscore name and you can make sure you get your Instant Moisture Duo. Links will be in the description and the bios. And also you can go to inaudibleruckus.com slash naturally nay and get it there as well. Right. And make sure y'all go to inaudibleruckus.com slash shop uh, to cop all the merch. When is it going? Okay. It was cute at first. It's not cute anymore. Uh, <laughs> inaudibleruckus.com slash shop. Make sure you go to mncagency.com. Check out what we got going on with the agency. You can... Check out the work we've done. You can put in a work Bye-bye. request if you, you want to like contract Bye-bye. us out for some stuff. Um, check out our merch. The Deer Season merch just Bye-bye. dropped, man. We're doing big things, man. It's been another episode of The, the Skeeters. Skeeters. Say bye. Bye.